Hi, this is the Motown India show. Today we have Mr. Kevin Flynn, President and Managing Director of FCA India. We're going to ask him questions relating to the company's progress in the last two years, especially after the Jeep Compass was launched. We shall also be talking about the latest model in their stable, the Trailhawk. Uh, Jeep has come a long way in terms of its product development. You have the Willis here, now you have the Trailhawk <laughs> here. Uh, now that you have a new baby in your stable and it's quite a versatile SUV, what is the demand that you anticipate for such a uh, versatile vehicle? Ah, that's going to be interesting. And I think we, obviously we've got an idea of where we think the uh, market is going to be. But to be honest with you, it's, it's more about rounding off the compass proposition um, and, and, and really making sure that we've got a, um, a range of vehicles around uh, a, a, or a range of models within the compass range that, that really meet all of the expectations. Now, we're standing here next to a Willys Jeep. This is where it all started uh, 76, 78 years ago. And um, here we are now and the DNA of this vehicle, the absolute get anywhere um, sense of sense of freedom and capability is key to us with Jeep and now we're able to deliver it at its ultimate end uh, within the uh, Compass Trailhawk. One of the key things that comes with it is um, trail rated and this is not something that is given to any vehicle but actually when Jeep develops a, a, a model that has this real 4x4 off-road capability it's then measured and if it meets these really stringent tests, really stringent requirements, then it gets the trail rated badge. So we're very, very proud. We've got the new uh, uh, Trailhawk uh, Compass. It's, it's trail rated. You saw yesterday just the level of capability that this has, but also how it delivers beautiful refinement in an urban environment. Uh, when we launched the Limited Plus into the Compass range, we saw a huge demand and roughly around about 45% of our volume is actually in Limited Plus. So there is a desire for Compass with high levels of specification and, and, and now we're adding capability. The other thing that's important about uh, Trailhawk, it brings the nine speed automatic transmission into the diesel uh, engine configuration. So that's gonna have appeal, plus the just divide nature of the nine speed automatic the high torque delivery, so it's very easy to drive, makes swift progress, great handling, even though we've got a lot more um, uh, clearance for off-road usage, actually the car on road is, is, is even further tuned um, for, uh, for comfort and so forth. So look, it's a great package and, and now it extends the compass range, it extends the appeal um, and, and we'll see uh, how the consumers like it. So will this uh, Trailhawk be made in India and will it be exported out of this country? Yeah, so this is interesting because we were already exporting um, Trailhawk um, for Australia and, and uh, a couple of other markets. So when we decided we wanted to have Trailhawk for, for India, it gave us the opportunity to not only um, uh, have the vehicle in our portfolio, but it gave us an opportunity to tune it more for the conditions here. So I'm talking about the suspension setup, even though we get the extra clearance, the way we've set the frequency adjustable dampers really suit Indian off-road and Indian road conditions. That's one. Steering, steering inputs and the, and the, the way we tune the steering is unique for us. Um, and then the other big one, of course, is the fact that we've used the development of Trailhawk to give us BS6. So we now meet BS6. More than that, we actually are quite happy to run on BS4. So we're going to make it available now. When we launch Trailhawk, it'll be our first full BS6 vehicle, uh, meeting all the requirements and future requirements that, are, that have been uh, laid down. So it really brings in a lot of technology to the Compass range. And now we can take some of that technology and wipe it across. So we are fully ready for the BS6 move uh, next year and we can actually choose to do it earlier if we choose. 
And, and Kevin, what about bringing a vehicle in the sub rupees 10 lakh bracket? And that's where the real market is in India. <laughs> yeah, whether it's 10, 10 lakhs. I mean, obviously we've got a, um, a commitment to, uh, uh, to, to broaden our range. Uh, there was a statement made in uh, our investors conference uh, um, uh, last year, and, and, and that was stating that we're looking at a, 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 a B SUV type vehicle, and we're also looking at a uh, D3 row. And I'm delighted that those projects are progressing well, and, and obviously we're excited about the potential of uh, improving, our, increasing our offering in India. You mentioned that this is a BS6 engine. Now, what about your other products? How, how soon do we see that getting to BS6? Yeah, we because... just we just got to make that decision. Now that we've we we finished this particular uh, product, uh, it's now ready. It's uh, say running on on both fuels. Now we've got the technology and it's all set up. We can now push that across the uh, uh, the range as we choose, ready for when the legislation comes into place next year. Okay, the Indian auto industry is seeing a lot of disruptions. We see uh, the emission norms hop, skip and jumping to BS6. Then you have plans about electric vehicles. So how is it going to pan out for your company? Well, I think the key thing is, is what in any market you're in, certain regulations will come. And there's, 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 there's normally a, a good you know, road ahead as to, as to what that looks like and what that is. What, what we've just done is the latest one, and it's a big step, let's be honest. I think everybody's looking straight to electric and want to know what's happening with electric. But actually, the biggest step in India is huge, which is going from BS4 to BS6 in one jump. You know, the fuels are going to change. This is huge uh, uh, challenge on the oil industry, the fuel industry, as well as uh, automotive. So the, the job for us is to meet that requirement. You know, uh, yes, of course, there's future planning. Yes, of course, there's the idea of well, what will that look like and what will the requirements be. But the most important thing at the moment is the biggest step forward is just about to be taken in India, which is BS6, and we're ready. Uh, one last question, uh, Kevin. There's a new trend, in, in, in especially in the Indian auto industry, where you see cars being connected. Connected cars are slowly getting to vogue. Now, does that, in your opinion, take away the focus away from driving capability and it becomes a, a, some kind of a bragging capability? What's your view on that? Well, I think, I think we have an attitude uh, which is Jeep, okay? So, so what is in our DNA? What is it that it's very important for us with our brand to deliver? And uh, when people are considering a Jeep, they're looking for certain things. They're looking for capability. They're looking for an authentic product that is true to the, 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 the DNA. We're looking at a, a sense of adventure. And that's, that's what we focus on delivering. So when you drove the Compass Trailhawk yesterday, you drove a vehicle that was so at home over the most roughest terrain and actually you were in the vehicle in great comfort uh, and then you drove on the highway and, and, and the car delivers the most amazing road manners. That is the DNA of G. That is where we focus. Now there's going to be many things that come, many trends that come and many new technologies that will come and obviously those as demanded by the, uh, the, 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 the buyer, it, they're gonna come into play. But actually, we're not about a gimmick technology. We are about delivering an absolute core DNA that people can believe in, enjoy and drive. Wonderful, thank you so much, Kevin, and wish you the very best. Thank you very much indeed.